Hello and welcome yogis. Chelsea here at Chelsea Teaches Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me again for another yoga class. Today's class, we're going to do a little cooling down, a little maybe before bed yoga, or really any time that you feel like you might need to just bring it down a notch, chill everything out. If you're going through maybe a busy, stressful day, this can be a really nice way to just kind of soothe the nervous system, take things slow, nice long holds, and it'll be just a quick little practice so you can fit it in in your day whenever you need to. So thank you so much again for joining me. I'd recommend if you have them around, having some blocks nearby, um, just to kind of bring yourself a little support. If you don't have blocks, um, a couple of pillows we can really do just fine. Um, just something that you have to kind of support your body as we're moving through some of these poses. So go ahead and find a comfortable seated position and we'll go ahead and get started. Find a comfortable seated position. Close the eyes down, soften the muscles of the face. Allow yourself a nice, deep, long, cleansing breath in. And a nice, long, cleansing breath out. Begin to breathe deeply in and out of the nose. Gently bring your right hand to rest over your belly. Left hand rests over your heart. Begin to breathe. Notice the rise, the fall of the chest of the belly as you inhale. And as you exhale, let go of your day so far. Let go of any worries of what's to come after this class. Rather, give yourself permission to take this time here just for you, just for your body for your own self-care. Tuning into that deep belly breath. Allow yourself a moment to connect, to notice anything that's going on with you, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, simply notice. Allow yourself a moment to honor that that is where you currently are. There's no judgment. There's no criticism. There's no need to change or alter your current state. It simply is. Allow yourself three more deep breaths in and out. As you finish out that third breath, release the palms, or the hands rather, to the tops of the thighs, palms facing up. Lifting tall through the crown of your head, grounding down through your sit bones, taking one final big breath in and big breath out. Gently allow your eyes to open up, roll the shoulders back. And we'll take ourselves forward immediately into the tabletop pose, hands and knees. So wrists are going to stack underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly down, lift your heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, cat pose, round the spine. 
press the spine away. Inhale, drop the belly down, arch to that cow. Exhale, round cat. Once more, inhale, lift the heart, lift the tail. Exhale, round. Inhale, back to your neutral tabletop. As you exhale, puppy pose. Walk your hands forward, letting your hips stay over your knees, and just gently rest the forehead down to the mat. Three deep breaths. Inhale to lift your head, walk your hands back until the wrists come back underneath your shoulders. And then we'll find thread the needle. On an inhale, reach the right arm up overhead, really try to spiral the right shoulder open. And as you exhale, thread the right arm under your left armpit, laying down onto your right shoulder and your right cheek. Gently breathe as you open up the upper, the mid back. Our shoulders are a place where we hold quite a bit of our tension, a lot of our stress. And see if you can use the breath to create space here in the back to relieve that tension. Two more breaths. Gently bring the left palm back to the floor as you press yourself up as you inhale. Open the arm up again back to the sky. Exhale, tabletop. Moving to the other side, inhale, reach the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath your right armpit. Lay directly down onto your left shoulder and your left cheek. Hips are still above the heels. Breathe space into the upper back. No tension, no force here. Two more breaths. Gently press your right palm back to the floor. Rise up as you breathe in. Exhale, back to tabletop. All right, we're going to find supported child's pose here. So again, if you have your yoga blocks, I'd recommend taking two. If you don't have um, yoga blocks, a bolster would also work, or just a big couch cushion, something that you can kind of put underneath your body here. So we're gonna take the knees wider than the hips. Two blocks out in front of us. So one is going to be lined up just underneath our ribs, one underneath our head. So supported child's pose, hips back to the heels. Begin to walk your hands forward. Let your ribs rest down onto one of those blocks or onto the pillow. And then allow your forehead to rest down. Using blocks in a pose is a really great way. We're not necessarily here to increase flexibility, but rather let the body feel supported and safe so that the muscles can even further relax. So finding those blocks or that something to rest on here is going to be really beneficial, especially to calming your nervous system if you're going through a really stressful time. So let's go ahead and release into those blocks. Let's take five deep breaths.
Gently lift up your head, lift up your chest, remove your blocks, just moving them to the side. And we'll start to exhale, come back up to a tabletop for just a moment and cross your ankles, roll back to your seat. I'm going to go ahead and face you. It's finding a butterfly pose. So soles of the feet together, knees out wide. If your hips are really tight, you might feel knee pain here when you close the knee joint. If that's the case, you can sit on a block or if that's if the block's a little much, you could also just take a little cushion, a little pillow and kind of sit to elevate your hips a little bit. And that will help to kind of relieve some of the force in the knees. All right, sitting up nice and tall here. As you exhale, we're just going to crawl the hands forward. Lead with your heart as you fold towards the legs. Go only as deep as your body feels comfortable today. It's okay if it's not as deep as I am. And again, you can use the blocks here. This can be really nice. If you're feeling kind of up in the air and that's making you feel tense, gently resting the forearms to a block. Or if you're a little lower, you could rest the head to the block. Wherever you are, five breaths. On that end of that fifth breath, start to, again, lift that forehead, lift your chest, use your hands to just kind of walk yourself back up, again, removing the block if you did use it. And then we'll bring the knees gently together, <clears throat> stretching your left leg straight out in front of you. Keep your right knee joint closed and we'll just take the right knee out to the side with the right sole of the foot um, pressing into your left inner thigh. So take your hands here, frame up the left leg, flex the left toes, lift through the crown of the head, and gently pivot slightly so that your torso, so that your sternum is aimed more towards your knee. So it's almost like just the tiniest little twist over, right? And then again, crawling the hands forward, respect your edge wherever your body tells you to stop, stop. When you get to that point, relax your head and neck. Breathe, five breaths. Remembering to never pull in your poses, never force your body deeper. That's actually counterproductive. All right, next inhale, lift the chest, begin to walk those hands back in. Great job, we got one more side. Stretch out the right leg, flex the right toes, close the knee joint, pivot the knee out to the side. Left sole of the foot is pressing into the right inner thigh. Hands frame your right leg, shoulders back, lengthen through the crown slightly. It's just that littlest, the tiniest little movement to aim your sternum towards your knee. Gaze towards your big toe and then we'll just start to walk forward. Again, one side might be a little more open than the other, totally okay, but respect the edge that your body has. When you try to force yourself past your edge, your muscles actually tighten more because they feel unsafe. They're forcing themselves past the point that they're comfortable stretching. So when you try to pull yourself deeper, they actually only fight back. So the best thing to do is just respect wherever you are, breathe, and the more you allow yourself permission to be at the depth your body wants to be, the more your body will feel safe and possibly release, possibly let you fold a bit deeper. Let's take five breaths. Oh. 
All right, inhale, lift the head, lift the chest, walk it all the way back up. Bend the knee, bringing both feet to the floor, and we'll slowly lower the shoulders all the way down onto the mat. Beautiful, all right. How are you feeling? Starting to feel nice and loose? Okay. Happy baby now, extend both legs to the sky. Hips are planted to the mat. Bend your knees. Grab the pinky edges of your feet. Draw your knees down towards your armpits and keep your shoulders relaxed. If it's difficult for you to reach your feet and you feel like you're lifting to get there, you can just kind of wrap the hands behind the thighs instead so that you can keep the shoulders grounded, okay? Just breathe here, three breaths. Gently release your feet, hug the knees into your chest, give yourself a loving squeeze, exhale, feet to the floor. Now go ahead, grab your block or your pillow, whatever it is you have, and we're going to do a supported bridge now. So pressing down into your feet, lift your hips up and take your block and just gently place it under the sacrum, that flat spot, just right at about your tailbone and settle your hips down onto the block. Now you can experiment if you have a block. You can try different levels. If you have a little more open of a back um, or a little more, you want a little more of a back bend, you can go higher with the block, but you certainly don't have to. Just find the level that works for you. Find the point where you can just settle the hips down. This isn't meant to be a great big back bend. It's meant to be really restorative to restore the nervous system to that feeling of safety, that feeling of homeostasis when we're stressed out or we're nervous or we're tense. We go into that fight or flight mode. It's just a natural biological response. So just the point here is not to get the deepest stretch or the biggest back bend, but to convince your body that it is safe, it's secure, it's grounded. That will allow you to release more. Five more breaths here in Supported Bridge. Amazing job. Gently press into your feet, lift your hips, remove your block, your bolster, whatever you have underneath the hips. Slowly roll the spine down. All right, just gently begin to windshield wiper the knees side to side. Allow that spine to release even a little bit more. Okay, one more time, each side. And on your next exhale, both knees fall over to the right, just keeping them kind of staggered as you're windshield wipering them. Arms can open out like a T and just gaze gently towards the left side. Three breaths. Inhale to draw the gaze, to draw the knees back to center. Feet are still hips distance or maybe even a little bit wider. Allow them both to fall over to the left, arms open, gaze to your right side. Three breaths. Draw the gaze, draw the knees back to center. And we'll find constructive rest pose, feet mats distance apart. Knees fall in towards each other in the center. Both hands come to the low belly, close your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out here as you rest. 
with every exhale, let go of something that is weighing on you. With every breath out, release something that is no longer serving you. As you release the air, release tension. Soften through the rest of your body and imagine it becomes lighter, it becomes more unburdened. As you release those things that weigh heavily down onto you, give yourself permission to let go, to rest. Gently begin to wiggle out the fingers, wiggle out the toes, maybe open the knees a little bit. Begin to straighten out your legs, inhale, arms sweep up overhead, nice big full body stretch. Exhale to bend your knees, roll over onto your side, muscles of the face soft, eyes closed. A few moments of peace a few moments of gratitude. When you feel ready with the eyes still gently closed, press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Gently bring hands together over heart center. Thumbs resting here on your chest in Anjali Mudra. Allow yourself to be filled with a sense of love gratitude, compassion toward yourself, toward your body, and towards every other being in the universe. Gently lift thumb tips up to the center of your forehead, your third eye space. Thank you so much for joining me in this calming, restorative yoga practice today. I can't wait to see you next time. Namaste. Thank you.